days looking at this thing, trying to decide how to blow it up. And if it all works, I planned it. And if it doesn't work at all, well, actually it's not. Didn't fracture the rock. Two inches in. I mean, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. And we just use this to keep the dust out. Uh, it turns out that if you, when we're done, if you don't clear the dust out of the hole, it, the dust itself absorbs a lot of the blast. And you, when you use these, you drill in, then pull up because you've got to bring a lot of the dust out. Otherwise, the drill bit overheats. Where you get a knot? Yeah. <laughs> This was originally developed for cavers. It was for folks who go and explore caves because from time to time when you go into a cave network, you find a big chunk of the system has fallen off, big rock is in your way and you can't get past it. And you sure as heck can't pull out dynamite because you don't want a blast going off on your head. You don't know what else will fall out of the ceiling. So with uh, something like this, this micro blaster, you can blow things up. You can blow things up pretty easily. everybody to step back just a little bit. If things go well, there won't even be a fragment going through there. If things go badly, you might see the firing pin go over your head. <laughs> and this hose actually is a safety guide as well. You should always stand in full extension. <laughs> Good. Get your souvenirs. There you go. Oh, is it hot? No. Put your faces. Let's go with that. Yeah. 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 yeah.